Wi-Fi, the Hills Hoist and Vegemite, all great Aussie inventions. But did you know you can add the milk crate to that list? Back in the 1960s, a Marrickville man was given the task of stopping milk bottles from breaking. His solution would go around the world. Today is World Milk Day, a celebration of a drink that's nourished billions throughout the ages. Cheers to milk. Cheers to milk. Cheers to milk. Australia has a unique reason to be proud, spawning an invention called the milk crate. It's a great invention. It almost ranks with the Hills Hoist and the invention of Vegemite. The disappearance of the Milko, who delivered milk into a billy can on a horse-drawn cart, saw the demand for sealed containers. But transporting the product from A to B proved problematic. Dairy Farmers Co-op was seeking a crate idea. Enter the crate man. Well, what they should do is call him the great man, not the crate man. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Milton is now 95, but still remembers the day he was handed the task of finding a solution. The plastics were just coming into use. I had to solve a problem and I solved it. He then took the concept to a plastics manufacturer who still churned them out to this day. How many would you make a year? Oh, look, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to put a number on it, but well over a million. Back in the 60s, America concentrated on the space race while they took their eye off the crate race. But they were happy to take credit for a similar design, which was painted two years later. Well, we copyrighted the colour so that it couldn't be used by other companies. The colourful cube is now used in more ways than one. Outdoor furniture for cafes, Christmas decorations, climbing or just somewhere to stash your fishing tackle. The British Prime Minister used one in a political campaign. The art community wanted to honour it. It wasn't a piece of art anyway. It's even been used to make a vital citizen's arrest. But they got the job done. I thought it was wonderful that it would save someone's life. It was really the icing on the cake. Michael Caine for 10 News First.